Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Broadcast again, with your host, Isaiah. Before we start this video, subscribe down below! Like, really, woo! Let's get to more subscribers. We only have 15 subscribers still, so if we get to a thousand, we can go live. So share this with your friends, share this with everyone you know, tell them to subscribe, like, right away. You know, so we, so they don't forget, and you know what I mean. <laughs> and also, before we start this video, comment down below any questions. Q&A video coming up soon after Ephesians, which, and Galatians, before, and before Revelation. So let's do it. Woo! So, sorry. Woo! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, we are in Galatians 3 today, and like, down, co like, comment, everything. Oh, foolish Galatians, with an exclamation, oh, foolish Gal Galatians, who has bewitched you? It is, so this is by faith, or by works of the law. How Paul, Saul, Paul, or Paul, now, is telling them more about, like, how, to, isn't adding on to the, you know, about his, he, Paul, Saul Paul's adding on about his, about works of the law and faith in Jesus Christ. Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. It, it, it was before your eyes that Christ, Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. They, the, the Church of Galatia saw Jesus Christ be persecuted, on the was crucified. Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Did you receive the Holy Spirit like, oh Jesus, like, is what, like, oh Jesus, I want you, I want my faith, and... All that. Where did you get it from? Is what he's asking. Did you receive? Are you so foolish? <laughs> Having begun by the spirit. Are you now being perfected by the flesh? Like now you're because of the law is in flesh. You know. Are we being perfected by flesh law of how. You, not by Jesus. You know. Did you suffer so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Mm. Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law or by hearing with faith? So, he who is supplied with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, like saying, let's not do that or what the right thing to do is, you know what I mean? Does he supply... Just as Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him, counted to him as righteousness, because he believed God was real. He trusted. He had faith in God. Know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. Even like a lot of people are called sons of Abraham, but like us Christians were sons of Abraham. Muslims are sons of Abraham, and Jew. Jews are sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. All these people, they are blessed with as he Abraham was the man of faith. Just think that's just adding on to yesterday's section of the Bible. The righteous shall live, for all those who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. For un, for it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. So not stealing and all that, but Everyone, so that's why we need faith and do them. Now it is evident that no one justified before God by the law, for the righteousness shall live by faith. If you're righteous, you shall live by not by law, 
not buying, don't steal, don't lie, not all that. That's it's good to do that as a believer, and or not even just a believer, but a Christian, a child of God, a true Christian, not a Christian who goes to church. But the law is not. Oh wait, now it is. Now, but the law is not a faith; rather, the one who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. So Jesus helped us from the curse of the law. And by having, all we have to do is have faith in him now. Which is so good. Amen. So that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles. So that way, that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. Mm. The law and the promise. To give a human example, brothers and sisters. It's not just brothers, all sisters out there, all women. You're si you're involved. You're, it's not just the men watching this, all women and men, brothers and sisters. Even with a man-made covenant, Covenant. No annuals it. No, no one annuals it or add it adds it to once it has been ratified. Now the promises were made to Abraham and his off to his offspring. It does not say and to offsprings referring to many, but referring to one and to your offspring. So basically, we're not supposed to have sex or, oops, for those younger viewers, the birds and the bees with, or have babies or orgies with other people. So with a bunch of pe men, we're only supposed to have offspring with one per, at least for sure, and no sexual immorality like keep going after boyfriends, having babies or having Babies with girlfriends, constant. No. That's not how we're supposed to do it. Then to your offspring, who is Christ. This is what I mean. The law, which came 430 years afterward, does not annual a covenant previous ratified by God, so as to make promise void. For if the inheritance comes by the law, it no longer comes by promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Why then the law? It was added because of transgressions, until the offspring should come to the promise had been made. And it, so talking about the offspring, now it's talking about the offspring of Jesus, like, you know, like Jesus is the offspring, like not multiple, no, it's Jesus is what it is. Hold on, let me get to it, so should come with promise had been made and it was put in place through angels by an intermediate now an intermediate implies more than one but god is one is the law contrary to the promises of god certainly not for if a law has give has been given that could give life then righteousness would indeed be by the law but the scripture in Prisoned everything under sin, so that promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Now, before faith came, we were held under cap. We were held captive under the law, imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. Jesus Christ. We were held captive to follow this law. So then, the law was our guardian until Christ came, in order that we may be justified by faith. That was our guardian, but Jesus is our father now, Christ, by faith. But now the faith has come. We are no longer under a guardian, for in Christ Jesus we are all sons of God through faith. Now we have a father taking care of us, not the guardian of the law. For as many of you who are baptized into Christ have put on Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave, Greek doulos, a slave of Jesus Christ, nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. 
And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring. Here's according to promise. So next time, so we only have two more, uh, or a couple more chapters, guys, so hang in there. Before we end this, let me actually pray. Lord, we pray, we want to thank you for this, and I pray anyone listening that if they need to come to know Jesus, that they would. And I pray you bless everyone, Lord, that knows you, and if they don't know you, Lord, please let them come to know you, God. And we pray that people would be safe amidst this crazy time in Jesus name amen so let's pray for everybody you know if you see someone come if you see someone comment like say I'll be praying for you or then comment back and forth saying about talking about praying for each other so let's pray for everyone and yeah we're gonna be doing a Q&A and then I think a prayer video that we'll start revelation you know what I mean so let's get any prayer requests also, questions, comment down below. Questions and prayer requests for the prayer video and the question and answer video. And now, let before we end this video, subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Don't forget Q&A and prayer video coming out really soon after the, these next couple of chapters with Ephesians and Galatians. And we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe right now.